Legendary Dante Fowler, okay. and Mr. Fowler, first of all, talk about your college career. Which was your your best game? My best game, I would say, I had uh, was against Tennessee my sophomore year, and um, I had like two sacks, I think, two forced fumbles, and you know, I, I was just balling out. And it all started in practice. Um, I had a bad game the, the week before against Miami, and um, I had went to talk to the coach. I was like. Of course, what's the problem? He was like, honestly, I think it's your practice habits. And I really took that to heart. He was like, you know, just practice like it's a game. Go 100% and go hard like it's a game every time. And I did that in practice, and I thought it was, like, you know, kind of stupid at the time. And then when I had that great game, I was like, man, I need to start practicing like this all the time. And after that, I never took practice slightly or anything like that, and it started paying off. So if I have any advice for anybody, that practice, practice really do make perfect, seriously. You know, a lot of people say you uh you practice how you play and it's and that's real good however you practice that's how you're gonna play so if you practice nonchalant so you don't want to practice you, go, you ain't gonna have a good game you, you go all out and you put the work in and practice when it's game time you're ready to go well said what well, who do you pattern your game after um well i pattern my game after uh demarcus Ware mm -hmm. just because of you know ideal size he was a three four outside linebacker and a four three dn and he was good at both uh, he could be a Hall of Famer at both positions and um, you know some new generation guys that I look at Von Miller and Alden Smith those my guys Khalil Mack you know I was watching him at Buffalo so you know just just seeing you know this new hybrid position I know uh, it really started with Lawrence Taylor and things like that when he was rushing but just to see how the position is now and how 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 important it is on the defense you know you that's a, that's a serious role right there you gotta if you're gonna be if you're gonna play that position you gotta be ready to go now, if you were drafted by the late Raiders, what, did, what would that mean to you to come to Oakland and be part of Silver and Black and play with Khalil Mack? Be with the, being a black and gold, you know, uh, that'd be great, you know. Silver and black, actually. Black oh, and gold Steelers. I'm sorry, sorry I'm sorry. Right? Black and, I'm that's thinking right. about my high school. Lake oh, okay, that's okay. School. But, um, no, being yeah. in the black and silver, that'd be great, you know, just being able to be out in California, you know, experience something new. I've never been over there in California. I love the 3-4 defense that they uh, have. Me and Khalil on, this, uh, on opposite sides, man, I could get scared. Uh, and lastly, which number would you like to have in the NFL? I wore number six growing up. Um, I love number six. And I like Lawrence Taylor. So I would like to bring 56 back, but bring it back as in like how Lawrence Taylor had it. Or if not, um, I would like 51. So 5 plus 1 equals 6. So. I like that. And what's your Twitter handle? My Twitter is Dante Fowler. Just straight Dante Fowler. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.